To replace the exterior mirrors, you will first need to remove the door and triangle trim piece. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. With the door panel off and the switch disconnected, place the panel face down on a soft surface to protect the panel. The switch, red arrow, is in the door pull housing. While it is possible to remove the switch while the housing is in the door panel, the tabs holding the switch in place are very small and prone to break. I find it easier just to pull the door pull from the housing. Begin by removing the single Phillips head screw, yellow arrow. Use a small flat head screwdriver and gently push in the clips, red arrow, holding the housing in place and remove the housing from the panel. Now you have a much better angle to gently pry the small clips and tabs, red arrows, holding the switch in the housing. With the switch, red arrow, out, you can see the small tabs you need to take care with when removing. Now let's move on to the mirror housing, glass, and the motor. With the triangle trim piece removed, you can see how the mirror housing is mounted. Disconnect the wiring for the switch, red arrow. Use a T45 torque and remove the bolt holding the housing to the door frame, red arrow. The housing will still hang on the door by the white clip, yellow arrow, that it hangs on. Lift the mirror up off the hook, red arrow, and pull the housing and foam gasket, yellow arrow, away from the door. Note all the work forward was done with the mirror and housing off the car can just be as easily done with the housing on the car. Tilt the mirror all the way back into the housing until you can get a trim removal tool or your fingers in behind one edge and gently pry the mirror away from the housing. The mirror, red arrow, is just held in the motor, yellow arrow, by plastic clips and will just snap off. If you have a heated mirror, carefully remove the two wires, red arrows, going to the heating element in the glass. To replace the motor, remove the three Phillips head screws, red arrows, holding the motor in place. Pull the motor out from the assembly and remove the wiring connection, red arrow. To remove the housing from the assembly, remove the two T10 Torx screws on the lower trim section. Unclip and remove the trim piece, red arrow. To remove the upper section, use a small Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two screws, red arrows, securing it to the assembly. Slide the upper section up, red arrow, and off the assembly. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.